Sergeant and Mrs. Smith, you are going to love this house. Is that a tub in the kitchen? There's no field manual for finding the right home. But when you do, USAA Homeowners Insurance can help protect it the right way. Restrictions apply. Please stick around. We have some more audio goodness that will capture your imagination only on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audiences. Hello there, and welcome to Bells in the Bat Free. I'm John Bell, your genial host, and today we're going to let Arnie interrupt me. How are you doing, Mr. Bell? I am concerned about your health. My what now? Your health. Half a lump. What? Your lack of illness. Ah, my lack of illness. Yes, because I have gotten over that illness that you gave me last episode. Are you going to sue him, Mr. Bell? No, Brad, I'm not going to sue him. I'm running a special. That's okay. With a lawsuit, you got two pairs of pants. I didn't mean to make you sick, Mr. Bell. It's all right, Arnie. Everything's forgiven, and I certainly don't want to recap last episode. Although, Mr. Bell, I think it would be a good idea if you got tested for COVID-19. But I didn't have COVID-19, and I had whatever it was that you gave me. Well, we're assuming that I gave it to you, Mr. Bell, but what if I didn't give it to you, Mr. Right. Bell? What if it was a case right. of COVID all the time, all right. and you're just blaming me? I'll test for COVID. How do I go about doing that? Well, just so happens we got our free COVID testing kits in the mail. We did, did we? Yes, it says on the box, it is the Binex Now COVID-19 Antigen Self-Test by Abbott. By Abbott? Please don't say and Costello. That <laughs> was kind of a natural, wasn't it? And I have the instructions right here. Perhaps we can turn this into a public service kind of thing. Folks at home, if you have this COVID-19 test, grab the instructions, and you can follow along as we read the instructions, and it'll be clear for everybody. Somebody say public service? Uh, yes, Brad, we did. I would like to join in on this public service. Well, that's very public-spirited of you. It can all go toward the public service the judge told me I'm supposed to do. Okay, Mr. Bell, I will read the instructions, and we will give you the test live right here on your podcast. So you're going to read the instructions, and we're all going to give the test to me here? <laughs> There's nothing to be scared about at all, is there? Opening the instructions on page one, I see... Oh, my goodness. What, 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 it looks scary? What? No, it looks small. Look at this teeny weeny lettering. Wow, I haven't seen letters that small since the last time I put fine print in a contract. If this has fine print in it, we're going to need an electron microscope to read it. Here, here, here's a magnifying glass. Let's, let's get started. Okay, here we go. Page one, instructions. It says review instructions prior to starting the test. Oh, come on. We're guys. We never read the instructions before we start doing something. No, please, read the instructions. The first little headline here says, Intended Use. And then there's, oh my goodness, about six, seven, or eight paragraphs explaining the intended use. Let me save you some time. The intended use is to find out if you have COVID. Okay, let's move on. Okay, phase two is the facts. They got to fax it to you? No. They want just the facts, ma'am? They frequently ask questions. Oh, questions you hear a lot, like, why do you keep calling me up for a date? Brad. If you call me again, I'm calling the police. Brad. Do I know any of the questions? Oh, I know all the questions. I'm asking Mr. Bell. Well, mostly I want to know, is this going to hurt? Question number one. Will this test hurt? No, the nasal swab is not sharp and should not hurt. Says you might feel slightly uncomfortable <laughs> or tickly. Oh, 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 tickly. <laughs> tickly. Oh, oh, oh. You don't believe what it says? Mr. Bell, this was written by the government, you know. Yeah, I ran into a brick wall one time and that felt tickly. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Oh, I'm having a tickly appendicitis attack. <laughs> <laughs> let's do another question. Okay, let's see. What's the difference between the different kinds of tests? Don't need to know that. How accurate is this test? It's free and it's the only one I've got, so I'm going with whatever it says. What is serial testing? What is serial testing? Testing? Oh, everybody knows that. Serial testing is when you pour Cocoa Puffs in one bowl and Cap'n Crunch in the other, and you try them one at a time. All right, all right, let's move on to the next segment. Okay, the next segment is precautions. I can boil that down, too. <clears throat> Don't do anything that will screw up the test. Huh, well, let's see. Picking some at random... Keep out of reach of children. Do not use kit past expiration date. Do not mix components from different kit lots. I think Brad nailed this section. Oh, I am an expert at misusing things. Okay, turning to the next page. What your results mean? 
there's positive result, and it describes that. There's negative result, and it describes that. And there's invalid result, and it describes that. All in detail. And here's the summary. The results are, you got it, you don't got it, or you screwed up the test. Next, we have an overview of the components. It's got a little picture of all the stuff that's in your box. Aren't those cute little pictures? Look at them. So you can take your time to compare the pictures with all the stuff that's in the box. And if you'd like to, you can even color the pictures. Really, crayons? Keep within the lines. Guys, this isn't arts and crafts time. Oh, is it snack time? Time for nappy poo? No. Or just poo? No, just keep reading. Okay, on the next page... Prepare for the test. Dun, dun, dun. And it has little pictures of the things in the box. Again. How many times are we supposed to color those? Oh, but this time there's one extra picture. It's a stopwatch. I don't see a stopwatch in this box. It says not included. Well, that's just dandy. Where are we going to find a stopwatch? I haven't seen a stopwatch in years. Guys. Is there any stopwatches are us near here? Guys. Where are we going to find a stopwatch, my job? Arnie, I think it just means any kind of timing device. Oh, like an hourglass? Or saying one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. How about... A second hand. Which one is my second hand? Hopefully not the one you pick your... I'm talking about your watch. What am I supposed to be watching? I didn't know it was my turn. Oh, Mr. Bell is talking about a wristwatch. A wrist wash? A wrist wash. A witch arrest? Brad, he means a wristwatch like the one I'm wearing. Look, see? What the heck is that used for? It tells me the time, Brad. Oh, cool. Let me try Wristwatch, what time is it? Brad, it's not Siri. Not Siri? Sorry. Alexa, what time is it? It's not Alexa either. You have to look at the hands. You gonna hold up fingers or something? Brad, Mr. Bell has an analog watch. He has a watch and a log. No. Does he smack the watch with the log or something? I'm gonna find a log and smack you in a second. Guys, trust me, I can, I can use my second hand or I, I think I may even have a stopwatch around here. You might have a stopwatch, Mr. Bell. Are we opening a branch of the Smithsonian or something? Let's just move along to the next section in the instructions, please. Okay, we'll come to the fun part now where we actually do this. You read the instructions, Arnie, and I'll perform the surgery. Brad, there's no surgery necessary. I'll be the judge of that. Well, did you at least wash your hands it didn't say anything about washing your hands. Actually, it did, Brad. It's at the top of the page. Well, why didn't you read that part? Because I assume you'd wash your hands before doing this. And I assume you're going to pay for washing this shirt. Brad, have you washed your hands? Yes, Mr. Bell. Before I left the house, I remember I cleaned out the kitty litter box, I washed my hands, and I came here. All right, then. The next step is to remove the test card from the pouch. 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 What is there, a kangaroo here? It's, it's that white thing. Everything in here is white. Can the government afford colors? It's that, it, no, that, yes, it, that, yes, yes. that one right oh. there. Open that up. All righty. Opening it up. And here's the card. Okay. Next, we... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did I say I cleaned the litter box, washed my hands, and came here? Yes, yes, you did, Brad. Now that I think about it, that may not be the exact order of events. Ew, go, go wash, wash your hands. hands. Go, go wash, wash your, your hands. hands. Huh, what a bunch of germ all right, I'll be right back. Okay, let's see what's coming up next. Open the card and lay it flat on your table with the pink side down. Okay. You may bend the spine in the opposite direction to help the card lay flat. Card must stay flat on table for entire test. They really want this card flat, Mr. Bell. It's okay, Arnie. This table's pretty flat. It doesn't say it has to be pretty flat, Mr. Bell. It says it has to be flat. Arnie, Arnie, where are you going? I'm going to get a bubble level and a belt sander. I don't think that's really necessary... <sighs> Arnie. Hi, Mr. Bell. I'm back. I wash my hands. Oh, we're out of towels in the bathroom, but I use my pants. Um, were you wearing those pants when you cleaned the... Where's Arnie? Uh, he went to get a belt sander. Oh, yeah. Nothing worse than a rough belt. Give you a welt. No, my I... My belt gave me a welt that I felt for a long time. Brad, I... Okay, I'm back. Let me use the bubble level here, and the table is level. Good. Then let's continue with... But it may not be flat, so stand back. Arnie, you don't have to... Well, 
That is one flat table. Arnie, you took all the finish off this table. You're welcome, Mr. Bell. But this table was over a hundred years old. Well, now you have a good excuse to get a new one. But, but... So what do I do now, Arnie? You put the cards on your table. Oh, okay. In my opinion, this is ridiculous. No, Brad, you don't put your cards on the table. You put the card on the table. I put the card on the table. And make it lay flat. I put the card on the table. And make it lay flat. I say, Arnie... You may think it doesn't matter. Come on, Arnie. It is a beer a flutter. All right, all right, that's enough of that. It's probably too much of that. Next, you get the dropper bottle. All right, got it. Oops. What happened? I dropped the dropper bottle. Don't drop the dropper bottle. I didn't mean to drop the dropper bottle. We need six drops from the dropper bottle. So I should drop the dropper bottle five more times? No, you put six drops into the top hole. Uh, my top hole would be in my nose. Not your top hole. The top hole on the card that is laying extremely flat on an extremely flat table. All right, preparing to drop. One, two... It says false negative result may occur if more than six drops of fluid are put in the hole, so don't do more than six drops. I wish you hadn't told me that. Why? Because you distracted me and made me nervous and I lost count. Calm down, Brad. You are at two. Okay, thank you, Mr. Bell. Two? No, 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 you had already done two, so that one is three. You're making me nervous again. You did two, then you did one, now you're at four. What happened to three? The last two plus the one is three. That's how many you've done. (laughs) Brad, 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 let's just put it this way. You have three to go. Well, which is it, three or two go? Okay, rephrasing. You have three remaining drops. This would have been a lot easier if they just put three drops in the bottle to start with. Then you just put the whole thing in the car. All right, everybody, hold on. Here we go. Three. You already did three. I'm counting backwards for the last three. Okay, guys, look. There are two left. One. If you're counting backwards, that should be two. Mr. Bell told me there are two left, so that was one of the two. Look, guys, there's only one drop remaining. That's it? Just one more? Just one more. Drop it in, Brad. Should I count forward from one or backward from one? It doesn't matter. You're only going to say one one time anyway. I already said one when we started this whole thing. Give me that bottle. No, no, give me that. I I got the... Brad. Put one drop in the card. All right, Mr. Bell. But didn't it say to put six? Just put one drop in the card. All right, all right, all right. One. Huh, that step is done. Yay. Now we come to the fun part. It says open Schwab package. Schwab? You mean Charles Schwab is in on this? No, 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 not Schwab. 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 Brad, Schwab. The deck? What is this, the Navy? The Schwab, Brad, the... the... The big Q-tip. Well, why didn't you say so? Wow, this Q-tip's about five inches long. The instructions say to insert the entire soft tip of the swab into a nostril about uh, three quarters... Of the way in? That'd be about three inches up, wouldn't it? Hold still, Mr. Bell. What? No, 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 no. no. Three quarters of an inch. No deeper than that. Oh, Sorry about that, Mr. Bell. I think you polished the back of my eyeball. And you're supposed to gently make five big circles. Oh, okay. One, two, three, five. You left out four. Oh, I'll start again. Just do one, just do one. All right. One. That was a big circle. You're telling me. Oh, but at least that's over with. The next step is to repeat the process in the other nostril. The other. Hold still. One, two, three, four. Wow, Mr. Bell, I didn't know your nostril could stretch out that wide. Me neither. And five. (laughs) What's next, Arnie? Now we actually perform the test. It says, keep card flat on table. They really want their card flat. That's even in red ink. So the government can't afford cards. They've been holding out on us. Now it says to insert swab tip into lower hole. Lower hole? That's what it says. Stick the swab into the lower hole. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Bill, you're going to find this really uncomfortable, but you're going to have to bend... The lower hole of the test card. Oh, the test card. That lower hole. Oh, that's a relief. Mostly for me. And you keep pushing that swab into the lower hole. I know what you mean, but it's... 
still sounds uncomfortable. Until it's visible in the top hole. His nose? The top hole of the cart. Oh, right, yes, we established that. Okay, let me ease this up here and... Oh, there it is, peeking through that little hole. <laughs> Hi there, Q-Tip. Next step, do not remove Schwab. Not messing with Charles. He'll adhesive liner off. The Schwab? The card. Oh, right, okay, there it is, and it is off. Now you close your left side of the card over the... Q-tip. Folding. Then you press it down to seal it up. Seal it? Seal it. You mean like, oh, 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 oh. What was that? That was my seal imitation. I think that was more like a sea lion. No, it wasn't, but I can do that imitation. Please don't. You shouldn't have said anything, Mr. Bill. Sea lion? Better run before lions see you. Ho, 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 ho. Next step, we wait 15 minutes. So that joke can sink in on you slower people? For the results of the test. Well, we don't want the listeners to have to wait 15 minutes, so let's, uh... Speed up time with my time speed up you later? You have a time speed up you later? Oh, yes, it's one of my favorite inventions. What do you use it for? Well, when you're watching live TV, you can speed up through the commercials with it. Oh, is that what you use it for the most? No, 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 no. When somebody is yammering that I don't want to listen to, I can really crank it up high. Well, I can see how that would be an advantage, because some people just tend to talk and talk and talk without making any sense at all. When that happens, sometimes I just don't <laughs> That's 15 minutes. Well, that went by fast. Blissfully so. So what about my results, huh? Huh? Do I have it? Huh? Okay, here's the part about interpret results. Find result window. There it is. There it is. There it is. And look carefully for two pink slash purple lines. Do you see them? Do you see two pink slash purple lines? Why would pink slash purple? What is this, a horror coloring book? I think they mean pink or purple lines. Do you see any Do you see any pink or purple lines? How do you, how do you, huh? Hold on, Mr. Bell. Let's do a short recap. How did you get this kid anyway? Well, I saw this thing that I was sent direct from the U.S. government. I commenced to shake and I've confessed I got me a COVID-19 test. It's a one-line, two-line, pink or purple people tester. One-line, two-line, pink or purple people tester. One-line, two-line, pink or purple people tester. I can't wait to see. We put it on the table. That was flat, thanks to me. And open it up. Immediately, I said to Mr. Bell, hold that pose. I'm going to stick this Q-tip up your nose. It's a one-line, two-line, pink or purple people tester. One-line, two-line, pink or purple people tester. I like short tests. Pink or purple people tester. You sure look clean to me. One line? Yes, indeed, you do lose my hair, Bell. If you had two lines, you would be positive for COVID, but you just have one line. And just one line means... You're pregnant. Yes. Yes? No. Well, would have been one for the history books. Not to mention the biology books. Well, this has been very interesting. Well, I think it's about time to wrap it up. And if you got the test and followed it through, we hope that you turned out negative, too. You might think there's more fun ahead. But you are going to get copyright info instead. You've been listening to Bells in the Bat Free, episode 289, copyright 2022, by John Bell Creative, LLC. Yeah, Bat Free! If you produce audio dramas, it obviously isn't to become rich and famous. You love the medium, and you want to share your passion for theater of the mind. The Mutual Audio Drama Network is looking for you. Mutual presents audio dramas every day of the week, each with its own genre. Mystery, sci-fi, comedy, horror, all reaches of the imagination. It doesn't matter if you produced your shows years ago or are still cranking them out. Share them on the world's largest collection of modern audio drama and audio fiction. Give a listen at MutualAudioNetwork.com. And if you'd like to be a part of the excitement, with free access to all sorts of voices, sound effects, music, and more, just drop a line to mutualaudio at gmail.com. The Mutual Audio Drama Network. Why not join us today?